it appears that MAGA chuds are looking to cancel a company for combining two things that they really hate. Books and drag queens. Mm, that's right. Uh, conservatives have announced that they are boycotting Pizza Hut over a book recommendation in their Book It program, which encourages kids to read. And you, of course, we know that conservatives do not want children to read. Uh, heresy. Uh, now, the book itself is called Big Wig, authored by Jonathan Hillman and illustrated by Levi Hastings, and is meant for pre-K through third grade students. So, yeah, you know, young kids. Uh, according to the book club's website this wonderful read aloud celebrates the universal childhood experience of dressing up and the confidence that comes with putting on a costume hmm. uh and it goes further than that acknowledging that sometimes dressing differently from what might be expected is how we become our truest and best selves big wig published by si uh, was published by simon and schuster in february and follows a child joining a costume competition who dresses in drag and becomes BB Bedazzle, according to the publisher. Oh no, putting on a costume, the, the, the horror. Now, as you would expect, of course, conservatives on social media, including libs of TikTok, you may have heard a few things about them, have taken issue with the book, and has been, uh, which has been running its reading incentive book it program for decades. Bridget Gabriel tweeted this, Pizza Hut has gone full woke. We must now make them broke. Another person adds, hi, Pizza Hut, are you aware how many pizza restaurants there, there are that don't try to turn kids into drag queens? Another person adds, can screwed up adults give children a break and let them be children? I'm so sick of messed up people and companies on a quest to mess children. This is not necessary. Ultra Mega Man also weighs in, because uh, he's ultra, right? Uh, can we report Pizza Hut to the police? Total Karen behavior right there. This is shameful. Mark Dice says, why is your book a program promoting grooming young children into becoming drag queens? It's not what grooming means. Uh, and finally, one person says, I will no longer eat pizza. Baron, what's your reaction to this? Um, I, I, I really, I, I got to find my list again here because I can't remember all the things we got to boycott because we got, <laughs> I can't, I can't have Oreos. I can't yeah. play with my Mr. Potato Head anymore. I can't have M&Ms because they're not sexy enough for me. And now I can't have pizza. You know, we could still have Papa Coolers. John's though, because, because there's no problem, you know, with, with Papa John saying the N word, I didn't hear Republicans wanting to boycott that, even though of course mm. they pushed him out of the company, but they were totally cool with that. Like, Hey, that's uh, we're going to order some Papa John's tonight, kids. But uh, you know what, uh, on that, I had over, I, I had th over 30 pizzas and, in, 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 or over 40 pizzas in 30 days, you know, <laughs> and, then the, um, and then the day of reckoning comes and then the day of reckoning. Apparently when you get the, I mean, <laughs> just don't be near that bathroom. Because that's what the Day of Reckoning means. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Big, massive dumps. <laughs> <laughs> but look, the thing is, what these conservatives don't understand is that Pizza Hut is not going around gathering up little children and forcing them to read this book. Right. It's being presented as just a book that's that's featured. They're not they're, they're not even selling it. You know, right. I mean, that that's what's so weird about this just because they say like, okay, well, here's a list of books and there's one that they object to. This is absolute ridiculous behavior from the crowd that loves to cry about people being triggered and, oh, I've been canceled. Nobody gets more triggered. Nobody cancels more things than the modern conservative movement here in America. It is beyond parody how whiny, how whiny they are. It's just... And they, I don't know if they choose to pretend it's not real or if they legitimately can't tell that they are what they think liberals are. But sometimes it's hilarious. A lot of times it's dangerous. And this is just straight up bigoted. Yeah, I mean, look, a lot of people uh, on the conservative side love to forget how it's the Republicans that have always been the OG cancel culture warriors. I mean, again, trying to cancel rock music, trying to cancel rap music, which they're still trying to do, trying to cancel Harry Potter, which, again, we should probably cancel J.K. Rowling yeah. uh, because she's turf. But nonetheless, uh, that's not the reason that they didn't like Harry Potter. Uh, OK, 
uh, trying to cancel uh, Dungeons and Dragons, trying to cancel... Did I mention rock music already? Might have already done so. Uh, again, the list goes on of things that they have attempted to cancel. And so when they when they try to project upon the left, when, when really the, the left basically likes to call out bad behavior, and, and that's all that cancel, cancel culture really is. It's consequence culture. And, you know, they... They go apoplectic. They just have a complete and utter meltdown. Uh, how dare you? How dare you? Get cancel culture, cancel culture. <laughs> when they, of course, love to cancel things over the ridiculous, the most ridiculous things. I remember seeing them uh, set fire to their Nikes uh, <laughs> after giving Nike their money, which, okay, great, sure. Hey, you know, I got a bunch of unused shirts uh, that you can uh, buy and then burn you know, with my face on them. I mean, go ahead and do that. Buy them all out, right? Uh, and you'll really, I mean, you're, you're really going to get me on that one. I mean, really, really. Go go ahead. <laughs> it's you know, just ridiculous. Let, it, it, it is. And let's also not forget, you know, you're, you're going, uh, you know, a uh, couple decades back too with the cancel. Let's not forget Barbara Bush trying to get the Simpsons, like telling people this is an evil show. Oh. Look how horrible this little Bart. Si I mean, my God, sure. The Simpsons was like, I guess considered edgy at the time, but at the time <laughs> you, you go back and you watch those old episodes. It's so tame. I mean, my God, my wife loves to watch mm -hmm. these stupid murder shows, uh, you know, the criminal minds and things like mm -hmm. that. Like y'all, y'all are totally silent about all of this like graphic violence and gore because but it's show cops. a nipple. Yeah. But show oh a nipple. My God. Sh They'll flip show out. a nipple, say a swear, you know, Oh, that's, that's terrible. We've got to get rid of all these horrible things. Like just lighten up. If it's not your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea. Let people mm -hmm. enjoy what they want to enjoy. You know, I, I, I may, and I actually already talked to my kids about this. And this was before all of this. I said, let's order Pizza Hut. We haven't had Pizza Hut in years. Why not do it again? And mm -hmm. then, you know, I saw this story. And I was like, oh, well, I'm not I'm not I'm not doing it because I want to own the conservatives. I just I haven't tried it again in years. And maybe it's I don't know. So now I feel I just, I just, I, sometimes you just want some pizza. 